Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a vlog-ish type of style video. I basically just have a ton of cleaning to do and organizing and I figured I would kind of show you guys everything. I just filmed a video and let's just say everything's a little bit of a mess right now. I have to wash my brushes, I have to finish packing, I have just like general tidying things to do. So I figured I would take you guys along with me and I don't know, hopefully this will just kind of be like a really chill vlog, pretty much just like <laughs> time lapses of everything. But if you like these types of videos, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already. With that being said, let's just hop into it. I'm currently sitting on my bed. This is just where I've been filming lately because basically just been cleaning and packing for Australia. And so this is my skincare extras bin. But we're going to go through this because there's a lot in here and I don't foresee myself using all of it. And I would much rather give it away to somebody who would. So this is from Frank Body. This is the original coffee scrub. This was just sent to me and I haven't used it yet, but I definitely want to. So I'm gonna keep this. This is a set from Grande Lash or Grande Cosmetics. It's like a set of different eyelash and brow serums and I'm definitely keeping this because this stuff is expensive. I have the Frank Body Hyaluronic Acid Body Serum. I'm keeping this to use up once I finish my Necessaire Body Serum. I do want to try this. I think it's super interesting. And then another thing from Frank Body, this is the Smoothing AHA Body Lotion. Okay, something else that I am keeping, this is an extra of my Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patches, the Micro Dart ones or the micro point ones. Love these. These are one of my new holy grail pimple patches. I just feel like they, like the micro needles, really feel like they're getting like in your skin and in those under the skin pimples. This is the Coco Kind Turmeric Illuminating Solution. This has 7% PHA, mandelic, and glycolic acid blend for soft and smooth skin. They did send this to me. I think I'm gonna give it away though because I just, don't foresee myself using this anytime soon and I would much rather have someone else make use out of it than have it just sit here. Okay, this is an extra of my Bioma Balancing Face Mist. Keeping. This is one of my like new holy grail products. I love this stuff. It just feels so refreshing. It makes my skin feel nice and hydrated. I like spraying this when I wake up before I go to my Orange Theory workout. It just kind of gives my skin some life um, and I just feel a little bit more like put together with this. I really like it and it's pretty affordable. It's around like $20 at Target. I've worked with Bioma a lot in the past. This is not sponsored by Bioma whatsoever, but I just, I really like this product. I am currently like over halfway done with my one bottle and then my other bottle is at my boyfriend's house and then this is just an extra. This is also from Frank Body. This is the Rose Hip Body Scrub and Cleanser. It's a two-in-one melting body scrub in a tub with exfoliating sugar and smoothing rose hip oil. Okay, it smells nice. I do love me a good body scrub, so I am gonna keep it. I'm currently working my way through one in my shower downstairs. So I think I'm gonna be done with that relatively soon and I do like to have body scrubs in my shower. This is also a for sure keep. This is the Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum, one of my all time favorite serums, like literally ever. I've gone through like two or three of these bottles already. Chef's Kiss, I love this. It smells so good to me. I just can't live without these, so. Gotta have the backup. So these next two things are from Olaplex. This first one is the number three hair perfecter. You're supposed to use this before shampooing. Honestly, I bought this in like a little set that had the shampoo and conditioner as well. I've used the shampoo and conditioner and I don't love them. I think they smell nice, but the shampoo just isn't, like, it's not as sudsy, like, soapy as I would like it to be. I want it to feel like it's really cleansing my scalp, and it doesn't really feel like that. And also, my hair feels greasy, like, the day after I shower, even if I'm, like, not doing anything super excessive or sweaty. So, I just don't think it does that good of a job with my hair, my oily hair specifically. I don't think Olaplex is supposed to be for people with super oily hair to begin with. 
so I just think this probably isn't meant for me. This stuff was expensive. So again, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try and use this. I should just put it in my shower so that I see it and use it. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna immediately put this in my shower so that I can use it and see how I like it. And maybe I like the treatments more than I like the shampoo and conditioner. This other one is the number zero intensive bond building hair treatment. This next thing is from Peach and Lily. This is the glass skin water gel moisturizer. I am really interested in trying this, but I currently have like four open moisturizers right now. And honestly, when I'm getting ready in the morning, I typically just skip moisturizer and go in with sunscreen because sometimes I feel like my skin is like too oily throughout the day. I want to try this, but I also just feel like I won't use it as much as I think someone else would. So I am going to get rid of this. I do think it's a super interesting product though. I just have to be realistic and just know that I'm probably not going to use it. These were also sent to me. These are the Earthling Company shampoo bar and conditioner bar. I don't know if these are still good because you can kind of see the oil has like seeped through the packaging. I think these just have to be thrown in the trash to be honest i don't know how long these are supposed to last in the containers themselves and honestly i'm super picky with my shampoo and conditioner and i feel like i probably on just like wouldn't like these but i haven't tried them so i have no idea i don't think i'll use them though so i'm gonna declutter them this next thing is just like a little pumice stone from eco tools this came in a set with a dry brush and this foot soak so I am going to keep these. I don't use pumice stones on my feet that much. I don't feel like my feet need them. They're not super dry. I do get calluses every once in a while and there are like some parts of my foot that are drier than others, but I've never like sat down and tried to scrub away my feet. But I think my parents would really like this, especially my mom. Um, I think she would get a lot of use out of that. So I think I'm going to keep this and give it to my mom. This is just like a wooden stand for the shampoo and conditioner bar. So I'm going to give that away as well. This next one is a body cream from Bath and Body Works. This is the scent You're the One. Is this open? It is open. It's not my favorite scent. And I do have a lot. So I'm going to give this away. I think this was a gift. I think this is like a couple years old at this point and it's this I think it's from the holiday collection I do like their body creams but again I just have a lot I don't think I'm gonna use it I'd rather give it away to someone who would I have a dry shampoo this is from Amika this is the perk up dry shampoo I did use this like once I brought it on vacation with me to Vegas when I went when I got back I think that the pressure in the flight like I don't I don't know how the science of it works but it stopped spraying and so I don't remember my thoughts on it. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm currently making my way through my Batiste dry shampoo and honestly, it's just taking me a lot longer because I've been washing my hair way more often because I've been going to the gym a lot more often. So my dry shampoo usage has been decreasing but my shampoo usage has been increasing. Anyway, I am gonna keep this though. I do remember liking it but I, I mean that was almost a year ago at this point, so I don't fully remember. I have this mask, this face mask from Tony Moly. This is the I'm Macoli. I I'm sorry. This is the skin purifying sheet mask. I have to be in a very specific mood to use a sheet mask, but I am gonna keep them. I think my mom gave me that. I have a couple more sheet masks in this little pouch, this little makeup pouch that I got with my Thrive Cosmetics order the last time I picked up my uh, Liquid Lash Extensions mascara. There are a couple more sheet masks in here. I also have a pimple patch, like an extra pimple patch thing that I haven't used yet. I'm definitely keeping that. And then I have two more sheet masks in here. I have to make sure these aren't expired. Do sheet masks expire? Okay, so this one expires January 8th, 2024. This is from Kiss. This is the Aloe Moisturizing Hydratant Face Mask. I think my mom gave this to me the last time she went to Asia, but I could totally be wrong. No idea. Um, I'm gonna keep it though. And then this one my mom definitely gave me when she went to Asia because this the writing is all in a language that I do not understand. This is from Nature Republic. It's the Real Nature Mask Sheet. 
in the rose scent. I don't love rose to be honest, but I am gonna keep both of them. Again, I have to be in a very specific mood to like a sheet mask, but when I do like a sheet mask, it's it's real nice. I have the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, a backup of the original like clear scent, just vanilla. I do have a full size of vanilla already. Like I said, this is a backup. I also have the full size of cherry and I have the full size of vanilla beige, which I'm almost done with. I also have mini sizes of vanilla beige, poppy, and brown sugar. So I obviously have a problem, but they're honestly just my favorite lip balm. I could not live without them. I think I'm gonna have to give this away to someone. I think my mom would maybe like it. Uh, maybe she can keep it in her purse or something. I do have the full sizes and the mini sizes, so I think just having a backup is a little redundant. I guess you could say that about anything that I have a backup of. But yeah, it takes me a really long time to finish lip balm. I think, I think I'm gonna have to let this go. I think someone else would get a lot of use out of it. So I have these travel containers. I, okay, to be completely honest, I've used them. So the, they're, it comes with like a sprayer that I use for toner. And then these leak so bad, so bad. Every time I travel, my face wash that I put in here leaks. So I don't recommend this. I don't like them. Or at least the, the, the ones with this cap that you push up, not a fan. I haven't tried this little jar yet so maybe i'll keep that for something else but and then everything else in here is pretty much just trash there's like hair in here so let's dump this out i have to sweep my floor now and then let's reorganize so i'm gonna put all the face masks back in this little packet along with the pimple patches. I wanna do this in a more organized way. So that's what everything's looking like now. That feels a lot better. I am getting rid of a couple different products here, but I am glad that a lot of these are like not cluttering up my space because I do feel like it's a little bit much. All right, here's the setup. I have all of my brushes right here. I have my laptop to watch, make it or break it, my little cleansing mat, more brushes that I have to wash. These are the ones that I'm planning on taking with me. And then the soap that I use, I've been using the Dr. Bronner's like Castile soap. I am pretty close to being done with it. I maybe only have like enough to wash a couple brushes. So I picked up this Mrs. Meyers dish soap and I figured I mean, I just kind of use whatever soap I have. And then I have my drying little rack here that is from the Spectrum and KJ Hughes collection. And then I just put a towel on the floor because usually like the water still drips down with the brushes being like super soaked. For the brushes that I'm planning on taking with me on my trip, I am gonna dry them off a little bit with like a paper towel just to dry them a little bit faster because I do need to pack and I do leave tomorrow, so. brushes are all done that took I want to say like an hour and 15 minutes I was using this Mrs. Meyers dish soap in the scent honeysuckle and it smelled so so good I really like that scent these are brushes that I haven't used since the last time I washed my brushes so I didn't feel the need to wash them again. It always takes me a really long time to wash my brushes and so I kind of delay it as much as I can, but it feels good to get them all done. And then I just put like my sponges, some powder puffs and eyelash curlers. And then I also have a couple brushes in here that are too fat to fit in these things. And then this right here are also brushes that are too fat, but I also just don't have room up here for them anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got that done. We're gonna ignore how gross I look right now because I just got out of the shower. But I wanted to mention my nails, these nails have been on for about a week now and they look amazing. They're a little bit grown out, but usually my nails either break or start chipping at this point and this hasn't done that yet. And 
it's because I use a new nail polish brand to me called Dazzle Dry. I picked up one of the mini kits that they have. I will link the exact one that I have down in the description below and whatever color this is. But I have never had my nails last this long and they haven't broken at all. And I'm, I wasn't any more careful than I was before. This polish is like a game changer. There's like a tiny, tiny bit of chipping towards the end of my nail right here, but it's honestly not even noticeable. I genuinely can't believe how strong my nails have been with this nail polish on. It's crazy. Like I'm, I'm genuinely so shocked. Now I need to get like every single color. So if you guys are interested if you guys are in nail interested in nail content at all like i am obsessed with this nail polish for those of you that don't know i did used to work as a nail tech in college i did um do like manis and petties and stuff and so i'm very particular about my nails and look at just look at how long they are like that's an insane amount of growth and they're so strong and i'm just obsessed with this nail polish cannot get over it my mom thought my nails were fake she seriously thought that they were press-ons or something because I do wear press-ons often. But I was like, no, these are my real nails. Look at how long they are. And she was shocked and she's obsessed with it too. And if that doesn't tell you something, then I don't know. Highly recommend though. They're just so good. I like seriously cannot believe how long these have lasted and how strong my nails are with this nail polish. Okay, so this is my base um, weekender bag, like the normal size. And I just got back from my vacation to New Buffalo so I just cleared this out like finally after a couple days and I liked it for a weekend trip but I don't know how I would feel about it if I had to like carry it around for an extended amount of time it is a little bit heavy but I don't think it's like too heavy I don't know I obviously will need to carry it around for a longer amount of time to be able to fully know but I have all of these packing cubes and I figured the easiest way to store the packing cubes, because right now they're just kind of like chilling in my closet, I figured the easiest way to store them would be to put them in here so that I know that they'll be in here for my next trip. I also have all of these compression bags, like air compression bags. I have like several different sizes of them, but I have one that's like a really big one that's like a vacuum size, and then a bunch of little ones that you just have to like roll out and so I'm gonna put all of those in here too so I know that they're there and I like if I need one I could just always go in this bag and take one but I think that's a lot better than what I had before because before they were they were all just like sitting in there. I am just gonna end the vlog here because I finally finished packing everything. I am pretty much ready to go. All I need to do is some last minute stuff like my laptop, chargers, things like that, my glasses but I am happy that I was able to do this because I mean it everything was a mess I feel very kind of just like clustered and just I don't know out of my element right now so I'm glad I was able to clean and just feel like my life is a little bit more put together so yeah I hope you guys are having a great day I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I hope it was just kind of like a a chill type of vlog I hope you guys enjoyed if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you guys in my next one Bye, guys.